So this will be our last uh, video from options because this is the last combination that we can face. This is selling a put. Selling a put is when you give the, an, another person the choice to sell something. So you will have to obey whatever the other person decides. If that person decides to exercise, you need to buy whatever that person is selling because their person is buying the right to sell. So you will just pay if that person decides that, that, that she or he wants to exercise. So in this exercise, in this uh, what we're doing in Excel, I will keep the same strike. As you can see, again, we are doing four, there's four, four things in here. And the strike is the same, the premium is the same, so I kept the same table. I kept the same line because it doesn't matter. We have a strike in the middle, plus, minus the premiums. And uh, let's begin with the analysis. Again, because we are selling a put, we are selling something, and when you sell something, you usually receive something, uh, any payment. So in this case, the premium will be accounted as a uh, as positive, so plus 0.5 in all the cases. So something that you can come to the conclusion right now is that when you are selling, the premium is positive, like in here and here, selling, selling. And when you are buying, the premium is negative. I will just make a very short video in the end, wrapping up all the conclusions, but you can just uh, come up with this conclusion already, that when you are selling, sell gives you the the keyword to uh, conclude that the premium will be positive okay, so i hope that's clear so far now let's continue with exercise or not exercise or not is, is always a line that you need to pay extra attention and i i think the best idea is just to go step by step column by column and uh, and, and answering to the question is 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 the other person exercising or not and how is that affecting me so let's do this exercise or not line. I need to ask myself if the other person is going to sell in the market, which will mean no exercise, and that will mean a zero, or if that person will prefer to sell with me in the option, which means exercise, and then I need to account for that loss. So let's do the analysis on 23.5. So the market is 23.5. If the market is 23.5 and that person has the option to sell that dollar at 25 with me, I think that person will prefer to sell that dollar to me because 25 is more than 23. So that means that person exercised the option and I need to account for that. So the difference 25 and 23.5 is a loss for me, isn't it? Because I am forced to buy the dollar at 25 when I could be buying the dollar at only 23.5 in the market, but because of the option, I am forced to obey. So that difference, minus 1.5, is going to be a loss for me. Let's continue with 24. In 24, it's the same logic. The person decides to exercise the option because 25 is more expensive than 24. And that difference, for me, it's a loss because I will be forced to buy the dollar at 25 instead of 24 in the market. So that minus one, it's a loss. Then 24.5 is the same, and the difference, which is uh, 0 0.5, would be a loss too. At 25, at 25, that person doesn't care. It's the same, so it will be zero. And at 25.5, the market is at 25.5, so the person prefers to sell the dollar in the market instead of going with me. That's why that person doesn't exercise. So it will be a zero. Then at 26, in 26, the, um, the result will be the same. That person will prefer to go to the market, no exercise, so zero. And 26.5 is the same, zero. So I have this graph in the end. As you can see, I have unlimited losses to the left and I have limited profit on the right. So just to finish with what we were doing previously, I think you can do this quicker. I think it takes, I'm not that efficient in doing these things. 
but I'll do, I'll do my best. First thing that I need to identify is a break-even point, which is in this case 24.5. That's when I don't make any profit or loss. Mm -hmm. Don't get confused between break-even point and add the money. It's something very common. A lot of students make this mistake. Sometimes I do it too. Just pay attention on what you're doing. Because remember, break-even point is where you don't make a profit or loss and they add the money. It's very simple to identify. It's a strike or it's when I don't care about paying, about going to the market or going to the option. Then I will start with in the money, the happy side of the graph. In this case, it's on the right. And out of the money will be on the left because it's the side where I lose. And something students ask me if at the money are in the money, um, start from at the money or break even point? The answer is at the money. In the money starts in at the money to the right in this case, and out of the money starts in at the money and to the left. So it's always at the money. The break even point is something like important for accounting reasons. So that would be the, the fourth exercise. I would just write, I would just do a very short tech, uh, video with the conclusions, which uh, might be helpful for you. And then I would give, I, I would just give you another exercise about options that maybe you can watch in the next class. And I will try to give you um, an idea of how this works in real life and some interesting facts about it.